Good to hear. Mm -hmm. um, talking of Saturday, just looking back on it, a really good move to um, bring Sam Hoskins on. Great goal. We talked about that on Saturday after the game. Um, is that is is that where you see him playing better? Do, I'm, I often not see give anything, I'm not going to give anyone away to the no. Plymouth supporters. <laughs> um, <laughs> It, he's listen, a good forward, isn't he? You Sam, that. Sam is is, uh, is one of those uh, players, in my opinion. For me, I know uh, Jimmy played him mostly as a seven, mm. but Sammy has qualities that I believe he can play as a seven, an eleven, a ten, or a nine, and probably can do all four roles equally as well. Um, I mean, I. I the reason why I decided to leave him out on Saturday was because he was really stiff for a couple of days, Thursday and Friday, and he was desperate to play anyway, and had a bit of a go at me because I didn't pick him. Um, he didn't, but he just wasn't happy. But then again, I don't expect people to be, but I just felt that we really needed to freshen up um, after Tuesday night's game, not because Sam played bad or anything like that, and I, and I told him exactly that, and I also spoke to him about how potentially I wanted to use him and I also spoke to him about potentially how I wanted to use him on Saturday from the bench. Um, not that I anticipated br to bring him on as early as I would have had to. But um, he done extremely well obviously when he came on and you know one of the first things he was which was uh, um, score. Which when these things happen it makes you look a bit of a genius for the substitution <laughs> you make. Not giving myself too much credit there but um, you know, sometimes these, when you roll the dice, sometimes they land on your number and sometimes they don't. But on Saturday, fortunately for me, it did.